Hi, and welcome to this section of the Probability and Statistics Tutor. And in this section, we're going to switch gears a little bit. The last couple sections, we talked about data sets and, and average values and uh, standard deviation. We're going to build upon that and go into one of the core topics in this class, uh, which is called the probability distribution and also an introduction to what are called random variables. So here you start to get into some more terminology, you see, and, and we need to break, break down those barriers to make it bearable for you, okay? A uh, random variable is, is something easy to understand. A probability distribution is something easy to understand, but they all have these crazy sounding names. So just work with me here. Let's go through them. I'll give you lots of examples of what a probability distribution is, and that'll build the bedrock for the next couple of sections where we talk about some specific types of probability distributions, okay? So the first thing is a random variable. Okay, a random variable has a very fancy sounding name. All it means is the following. It's a variable, uh, usually denoted by x, just like any other variable that you've used in algebra, uh, that has a single numerical value determined by chance, okay, for each outcome of a uh, procedure or an experiment, okay? So it's a variable. I mean, it's, it's, like a vari it's like in algebra you have variables, okay? In statistics you have variables. We're going to both call them x. The only difference is the value that x has is going to be uh, basically a probability. It's going to be determined by a probability, okay? And so we'll talk about and we'll, we'll give some examples of what that means when I can get and, and show you some examples. But just think of the random variable as a variable single value determined by chance, determined by basically a statistical outcome of an experiment, okay? Next, let's move on into the concept of what a probability distribution is, and then when I can draw some things on the board, I'll, re I'll reinforce both of these definitions, okay? A probability distribution is a graph, a table, or a function that gives the probability of each value of the random variable, okay? So the random variable itself is just this value determined by chance, okay? That's why it's called random. And the probability distribution itself can either be a table or a graph or actually a function, f of x, that produces the, um, basically it gives you the probability that, that x is going to, going to happen. That's really what it's going to amount to. So x is going to be a random variable. It's a variable determined by chance. So it's basically going to be tied to a probability. The probability distribution itself is going to show you what those probabilities are for every value of x. So just like in your regular old functions from Algebra 1, f of x is equal to something. Could be x squared, let's say. And the values that you put in, you know, you get input values and output values, and you assign uh, values of f of x to every value of x that you have as an input. This is going to be the same thing. The probability distribution function is going to ascribe or, 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 or associate probabilities with every uh, value of the random variable x. That's what it is. So instead of just values you get, you're going to be getting probabilities out. And you'll see it's a very simple and very slick way to, to actually visualize things, and so that's really good, okay? So let's just go into an example and, and, and reinforce it and see where we have. So what we're going to do is we're going to define a random variable x, and what we're going to say is we're going to let the random variable x equal to the number of eggs a hen lays in a day. Okay, so x is going to be the number of eggs a hen lays in the day. Now think about this for a second. Um, chickens can lay any number of eggs in a day. On Saturday they may lay, they may lay uh, no eggs at all. Sunday they might lay one, some days they may lay two, some days they may lay four, and, and, and again, they can have very different, uh, depending on what's going on, they may or may not lay an egg at all, okay? 